I think it's very difficult to be objective in terms of such a horrible story. When you think of somebody dying in, in freezing water, um, I think it actually it, it takes, bring, brings you up short for a moment. You have to think, is this push factor from, a, you know, they've actually been driven from their homeland, or is it a pull factor because it's attractive to this country? The thing that slightly worries me is that uh, at the moment people are paying three, four, five thousand pounds to come across. What the people smugglers, some of those vicious, evil, blood-sucking scumbags the world's ever known, what they will now do is to say, oh, the reason why they died is because it wasn't the top of the range job, and they'll just increase the money. Look, we've got to actually finally do this. Rishi Sunak has so simply rehashed the old one. It's, it's, the, it's just like the, he just brought up what he said last week and the week before. What we need, firstly, we've got to actually collect the people together, fingerprint them, issue them with identity cards, I think would be a marvellous start. So at least we know who they are. And if someone is going to be deported, if somebody's from Albania or from a safe country, they shouldn't be wandering the streets, working in the car washes and doing those things. They should actually be detained and not necessarily in a hidey high holiday camp in Pontins or somewhere. Yeah. But, you know, we've actually got the, the areas to hold them in. So to actually come up with these specious rehashes is not doing anybody any favour and it's not doing those poor souls no. who died in the freezing water south of Dungeness no. any favours.